Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Learn IT. Today's session, I will be talking about playbooks and process automation designer. So please watch my videos till the end for complete information. So let's proceed further on this one. So what is a playbook? A playbook is an UI through which agents or fulfillers interact with a business workflow in real time within workspace. Agents can use playbook to update records, upload attachment, complete tasks across multiple workflow activities. The playbook experience also provides fulfillers with visibility into cross business workflows and the task which is used to complete these workflows. All right. So this is playbook and how playbook looks like is like, so you can see this is a playbook playbook header is my INC process. And these are the stages for playbook and under each stages, there are activity cards. So we will see this, how we can create a playbook using process automation designer. First, we will uh, tell you about how and how this playbook and process automation designer works. All right. So let's proceed further and see what is process automation designer. So process automation designer enables process owners to author cross enterprise workflows and create a unified process. So we can create a process for particular thing like incident problem change, right? We can also use process automation designer to provide users with a simplified task oriented view of the process. So we can check the task oriented view of the process, which is created under process automation designer. So now what are the benefits of process automation designer? We can connect multiple flows and actions into an end to end business workflows. We can use existing flow designer flows, subflows, actions to automate process of activities. We can organize activities in a digitized task board interface. We can define a consistent record life cycle from creation to completion. We can pass data between the activities and the stages in a business process. And we can as well as specify the conditions and the order in which those activities and stages will run. And through process automation designer, we can visualize and manage the activities and stages of the process. All right. So these are the process automation designer benefits. So now we will see what process automation designer contains. So it contains the name of the process, the triggers, the lanes and the activities. So these four, uh, Content is the major content for process automation designer for creation. So what is a process? Process is a representation of an business process for the organization. A process owner will be responsible for creating and managing the process. What is a trigger? Trigger is specifies when to start running your process. And what is lane? Lane is a group sequence of activities in a process in one lane you can create multiple activities through which we can specify logical group of activities a lane represent one stage in your overall business process and under each stages we have multiple activities what is an activity an activity defines the flow designer content that powers the process automation an activity can also specify the user facing experience that the process produces when it runs. All right. So this is process automation designer contents. So we can see what are the plugins required to be installed for playbook experience so that you can create a process under process automation designer and playbook experience. You can test the process, how it looks. So these are the plugins when you uh, install it with that, these all plugins will get installed. I will be proceeding with the demo. So we will see a demo here of a process which will be created in process automation designer. 
सो प्लीज वॉच माई वीडियोज टिल द एंड फॉर कंप्लीट इन्फॉर्मेशन नाउ आई विल टाइप यर प्रोसेस ऑटोमेशन डिजाइनर एंड इट विल रिडायरेक्ट अस टू प्रोसेस ऑटोमेशन डिजाइनर लाइक इट विल रिडायरेक्ट टू वर्क फ्लो स्टूडियो वाई इट रिडायरेक्टेड टू वर्क फ्लो स्टूडियो एज अ न्यू यू आई बिकॉज आई एम शोइंग अ डेमो इन वॉशिंगटन डी सी रिलीज बिफोर दिस रिलीज प्रोसेस ऑटोमेशन डिजाइनर विल बी ओपनिंग इन अ सेपरेट व्यू ऑल राइट सो आई एम प्रोसीडिंग इन दिस वर्जन आई विल क्लिक हियर ऑन न्यू प्रोसेस and i will type name incident management process and it will be running on global now i will click on build process as soon as i will click on build process our process automation designer will get loaded and then we will switch to our board view and then we will click the add a stage button here and then we will create all the stages for this process first so what would be the first stage first stage would be details intake okay now i am just adding the stages name meanwhile there is one one thing we have to add more on this incident management process so it, it is like when to start this process so we will define here under schedule we will define when our uh, this process will get run so we will click on conditions record create or update and we have to check here our table so we will type incident and then everything is done so there is a condition as well you can add it but i will not add any condition here so i have added the uh, trigger condition for this process now second stage would be trouble shoot and i will add other stage other stage would be resolve and last stage would be close all right so i have saved all four stages here now i will add activity one by one so first activity would be as instruction start activity start activity so uh execute steps one by one so i have saved this instruction and now i will add here a uh, user form which i will define uh, like uh, details details confirmation or you can give it as a confirm details confirm details all right now what we will do is like we will configure under ui layout we will configure various fields or tables where we will display this uh, act activity so i have clicked on incident and associated record will be associated record will be incident record and now what we can add is like a uh, form fields we will add some form fields like caller so first is caller other is configuration item other is short description other is description and i will click on okay so i have added these four fields for now and i will click on save and close all right so these two activities i have created under first stage now under second stage troubleshooting one i will add stages uh, stages is already add i will add the activity so troubleshooting activity there are much so definitely i will show you one by one what all things uh, happens on troubleshooting so first uh, we will determine the prop priority if it has to change so it uh, priority will be determined so what i have done is like determine priority 
and then I will select that table as incident. So similar way, I will create a lot of things here. Incident record. Okay. And now we can select the form fields. So what all form fields would be impact or urgency priority will be decided based on impact and urgency so I will add these two fields okay save and close and now we will just do a small quick test whether it's looking fine or not so we will see here how it looks yeah so now you can see here how our uh, activities are looking and confirm details will have various fields see and now we will do mark complete then it will go to troubleshoot troubleshoot will also open two fields here all right so it's working fine so let us proceed and configure all other things so now what i will do is like other user form is open now here what we can write it here is update assignment update incident assignment if required so here under UI layout we can select incident table and here we can check our incident record and here again we can add some of the fields uh, what some of the fields would be assignment group and assign to ok and now save and close one more activity update incident so incident can be updated as an uh, suppose incident will update with the help of work notes so I will let me let me add here first associated record then I will add the field work notes form fields and the work notes I will select the work notes and then I have added the work notes here and then save and close again one more activity I will add here uh, that would be user form and again if uh, assignment update update incident assignment if required alright so here I will select UI and then again I will select here incident table and again record I will be incident record alright and form fields would be similar like uh, assignment which we have selected earlier as well assignment group assigned to ok save and close now now we will uh, create activity under resolve so under resolve so i will click here on experience demo process automation experience demo and then we will select incident resolution yeah save and close and now what i can do is like i will add a one more user form under closer and here what I will write closer notes and in UI layout I will select the table name here incident and here we will select our record so record will be incident record alright so incident record is selected and form field would be work notes so I have selected the work note here 
and I have clicked on save and close and then what I will do is like I will activate this uh, process okay now the incident management process is active so let us try to test this incident process so I will click on test and I will open some record here suppose I will open this record and I will click on run test and now we will open our playbook preview and now you can see details intake troubleshoot resolve and close all these activity uh, uh, stages are part of our incident management process which we have created right now so as soon as a step by step uh, activities are completing it will move to various stages all right so first stage is just for instruction execute steps one by one so i will click on mark complete and you will see as soon as i have clicked on complete it will open a form where prefill details you will see the prefill details and some of the fields will be mandatory which is required to be filled and some of the field is already filled here so we will click on mark complete so you can see our first stage is completed and we have moved to our second stage now as soon as completing this priority uh, activity we will move to our update incident assignment if required i will not update anything here i will click on mark complete this is the task completed and now it is showing update incident i will type suppose test and you can see this task is also completed and it will redirect to our another task uh, this also i will not make a change and i will click on mark complete and you can see our uh, two stages are completed and now what we have to do is like we have to add a, a resolution code here suppose known error and complete all right so i will click on resolve and now this resolve incident is resolved and now we have moved to our closer note and you can add it as this incident is closed all right update and mark complete so this is the playbook how it uh, looks like uh, when agent works on it and i have shown you how we can create the process similar way you can also try to create process for various things in service now all right so this is all about playbooks and process automation designer thank you all Thank <music> you.